So, as we discussed last week, we said that there's all these. There, there, there is the Yalka Shemayni that says the Mashiach comes, even though the other Yom Tevim will become bottle. Purim will not become bottle. Purim is different. And so we have different version. What does that mean? So the next part of the discussion that comes up is what about Tainus Esther? We have when Mashiach comes, the, there's a pasuk and the Ram brings it down uh, that all the all the fast all the fast days will become will be changed, will be transformed. All the days of sorrow will be transformed to days of joy and simcha. <coughs> and so Shailas, what about uh, what's it going to be with Tainus Esther? Is Tainus Esther unique or or, spe- or different in any way? So the Rambam about the Tainus is in the first Samar Malkim. In Hilchus Tainus, Perakei Allah Yitzhas, the Rambam says, Kol Hatsaymu Yisraelu Asidim Libatol Yimais HaMashiach. All the fast days we do now will become nullified when Mashiach comes. V'loi Oid. Not only that, El Shem Hasidim Yis Yomim Tevim. There'll be festivals. The Yimais Sassin V'Simcha, Shinemra, like it says in Zachai and Perak Ches, and Koy Amar Hashem Tzavais, Tzim Haravi, the same Hachamishi, the same Hashvi, the same Hasidi, those four fasts, Yil Abis Yehuda, the Sosim, the Simcha. They will be at times to rejoice with the Mayadim Tevim and Yam Tevim, the Haemis, the Hashalim Ahavim. And yeah, so there, so the Raman tells you, so the Raman tells you that when Shia comes, all the fast days we do now, we're not going to, we're not going to be doing, we're not going to be fasting. And Adarab, it's not going to be a day of Sar, it's going to, it's going to be a day of Simcha, of joy. Um, I didn't see Yom Kippur that we discussed last week. Is Yom Kippur going to become bottle? So his opinion says Yom Kippur won't. So we will still do, do Yom Kippur. But this is all talking about the fast days, which is Mishum the Tsar and the and the bad times that we had. So what about Tiny Sester? So it's interesting. Before so this is in, just in general, where does Tiny Sester come from? It's a machlikus. A lot of a lot of shame uh, say that the the, the whole tiny sister isn't even mentioned in the Gemara. It's not mentioned in the Gemara. So the question where did they come from? So some people so the, some people they found a little they found a small Gemara in a, a piece in Sechtes Megillah. They want to say maybe this is what, what it's referring to. But some are saying that it's not in the Gemara in the Gemara, and we just the minigus the fast and tiny sister so just like the earlier, just like they did in the times of Esther. In the second Ramak in the Magi Mishnah discusses this. It says, Tainas, Tainas, Zet. Magi Mishnah in Hilchas Tainas, Perakea Lachahe. Tainas, Eli, Niskar, Begemara. It's not mentioned in the Gemara. Avon, no, I go by. We're ready to do it. Vamuk, Ksas, Mefarshim. Some version want to say. Now, where's the Makkah for this? Shemash, the Kasa, Be Perakama, the Megillah. That's Man, Kehilo, the Cholhi. In Sechtus Megillah, the Gemara was discussing. The Gemara was discussing. About about all the days you're allowed to you're allowed to, you're allowed to read the Megillah. Not only it's not only in Gedal and Tzvav, you can also read it Yud Yud Gimel Yud Beis Yud Aleph. So the Gemara says, how do you know that Yud that Yud that Yim Yud Gimel is also a day which you could read the Megillah if you can't read it later? So it says because 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 Yud Gimel is man kehilo kehilo lakol. It's a time of gathering. So why is Yim Yud Gimel the time of gathering? So Rashi explains because that was when you didn't have the Melchama. That's when they fought, fought the war in the times of of of, of Mordechai and Esther. They fought the war, and that's that's what it means man kila. But other farshim say that no. Like he continues, and no, what's pshat that is man ki is man kahalo time of gathering. And being this time of gathering for for a tainus, every everyone gathers to fast. So what's 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 the pshat that is man kila? Time of gathering for for a tainus, everyone gathers to fast. They say this in Mordechai and Esther, and now there's some chuli sanis, and this is the makar for fasting. So that's just in general. Where, where does it come from? So it's not so clear where the where's the first where's the where's the where's the where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the clear mucker in the gemara for fasting on tainus sister. But that's what we're not. Um, now, there. So this so this question that we brought up: Are we going to fast when Mashiach comes? So this so the one the, so the first so. And one of the people that bring up this discussion is J V Salvechik. He has there's a sefer called Harari Kedem, written by it's his shiurim given over by one of his talmidim. Over there he brings up the, the he brings up this discussion. What's going to be the tiniest Esther when Mashiach, tiniest Esther when Mashiach comes? And he's midayik from the Rambam. He says in the Rambam, the Rambam says in in Hilchus Megillah in the end that all the that that the chamisha that all the all the, all the nevimik sivim will become bottle. Megillah Esther won't become bottle. You, you see from the Rambam that when in his explanation, thank you, that. 
that the tsar of Purim is also a part, a part of Purim. Basically, what the question is going to boil down to, whether Moshe, whether Tainus Esther will become null or not, is two questions. First of all, is Purim and Tainus Esther a package deal? Is it, is it one thing? Do they go together? Or Shushan Purim, that's, that's another question. Do they go together and therefore you can't have... And you can't, you can't have one without you can't have one without the other. You can't have one without the other. And another question we have to bring up is: Is tainus Esther a tainus of tsar of of sadness because of uh, and uh, time to do tr- uh, time of sadness because of the tsar that happened in the time of Esther, or is a tainus which there's still more of a simcha to it? It's not such a big sadness. To it. So let's see from the Rambam. The Rambam in the third Maram Malkin, he, he says, They will become nullified when Shiach comes, they make some Shiach, Chusmi Migil's Esther. The Hari Hikayem is Kechamisha Chum Shay Toyro, Ukehilchay Shal Tir Shabate, Shainan Betelin Lailam, which will never become no. That's what the Rambam says. Well, the important part is the next part we want to see. Even though all the remembrance of all the sorrows we had will become be for bottle and forgotten, which is why the Nadim Suvin will be forgotten, because most of it talks about the, the, the sad times that we had. Nevertheless, they'll be forgotten and, and, and taken away from my eyes. They will never be taken away, they'll never be forgotten. So you see, the Rambam is trying to ask a question. Why, why, why shouldn't Megillah be forgotten? Why shouldn't Purim be forgotten? There's a tsar, there's a, there's a bitterness to it. So there's no, even though there's a bitterness and a sadness to Purim, still, it won't be forgotten, because that's what the Pasuk says from the Pasuk. Not because of the tzara's part of it, because of the simcha that came after the tzara's. But you see from the Rambam that, that Purim isn't just a simcha. You see, there's also a tzar involved. There's also, there's also, the, there is also a tzar involved. So what is that tzar? So, so, and so, 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 so. So Salvechik, so, you wanted to bring out, that could be, you see from the Rambam that there's a tsar, that's referring to Tainus Esther. It could be according to the Rambam that Tainus Esther, that is a chilek, when he says, I won't be forgotten, not only put it, maybe also Tainus Esther will, will also be, will, will, we will also keep when Mashiach comes. This is... Maybe, maybe we don't know. This is all. This is this is theory, right? We don't know what's going to happen. So this is pilpul. So in so another question. So another part of the discussion that comes up, another place where we see such a svara that tainus Esther is a part of Purim, is we see from another discussion that Hashanim had. The halacha is on a day of simcha. On a, on a day where, where, a ne, where a nest happened to the Yidin and we, we celebrate every year, you're not allowed to fast or do a husband on that day. And also the day before and the day after, you're not allowed to fast either. So the question that Rosh Hashanah bring up is, why are we allowed to fast on Purim? All the days, and there was, there was a Megillah called Megillah's Tainus, which had all the Yom and, the Yom and Tev in which the Yidin celebrated, and which you're not allowed to fast on the day. You're not allowed to fast either before or after. And one of them is Purim. So how come, how are we allowed to fast Tainus Esther right before Purim? It's a, it's a Yom Tif, and you shouldn't be able to, to, to fast the day beforehand. So the different explanations that are given, one of them the Ran brings down from the Raivid. The Raivid says, even though Purim, even, even though you're not allowed to fast on the day before Yom Tif, and you, you're not allowed to, and seemingly you shouldn't be allowed to fast on the day before Purim, still it's different. Since Purim, you see from the puzzle that Purim and Tainus Esther is a package deal, you don't want to it together, therefore you're allowed to fast even out of Purim. This is in the fourth Maramakim, this is the Ran, it's the Ran and the Rit in Mesechtis Tainus, the Avzayin and Aleph. He writes, El Shehuza Kosav, the Raivid, Raven writes that the Yud Gila in a Daimla Shartainis, that the Tainus Esther is not similar to other fast days that we do. The Zichrin Hula Nesha Nasa, but because it's a, because with this how we fast on Tainus Esther, it's not just a, it's not just for a sorrow, it's to remember the nest that happened. But Oyid, and another reason, Shieshlan is Smach because of, we also have a mucker for fasting on Tainus Esther in the Pasuk. Sha Omar, it says, Kashakimu al Nafsham Divri Hatsim. 
Vekasha Kimu al Nasham Divri had Simis. It says, the Pasuk when they were Makabal, they were Makabal Divri had Simis. Not only they were Makabal, just like the Pasuk, just like they were Makabal, and just like they were Makabal, put them in, they were also Makabal, they were Makabal that say that the fast. It's in the end of Megillah and Perek Tess. Leimar, what's it trying to say? Shekashim Shekibu al Yim Lassis Yim Tev. Just like the Amir Kabbalah to make a Yom Tev of Purim, Kach Kli Kibu Ali Am Divri Yatsim Yisuf Zakasim. So too they accepted it upon themselves the the fast days, to fast the Tiny Sester, Kleimer Lassi Lassi Tiny Sv Chol Shana V'Shana to fast every year. So the Raiva says, so, so what's the reason you're allowed to fast out of the out of Purim? The Chayda is right before Yom Tev. You're not allowed to fast then. So he says no, because you see from the pasuk that they were makabel together at the same time. They were makabel to they they made put them as yom as the yomtiv. On the same day, they also made a, they were also makabel a tainus on a fast, also to remember that sort of that happened. So also you see from the from the Ravid over here the way he's learning the way he learns uh, the pasuk that it's it's a package deal. So also it also fits with the Rambam. You see that the tsar the tsar the the, the tainus of Esther goes together with Purim. And maybe, and therefore, it could be one be bottle, it could be tiny uh, sauce we will also have from a chef comes. However, on the other hand, there's, there's uh, <coughs> this is how the Raifid explains the puzzle. And when it says they, they are macabre, divri atzimis, they were they are macabre fast, he says that it's referring to tiny sister. However, the Ibn, Ez, Ibn Ezra, Ibn Ezra on the, on the Megillah, he explains differently. He says in the Perik test when the puzzle says that they were macabre purim and they were macabre the fast, it's not it's not referring to Taina Sester. What it's really saying is that just like the Yidin, what it's really saying is just like the Yidin were accepted upon themselves to fast on all the other fast days from all the Tzadahs on Tisha B'Av and all the other days, even though they weren't, they, just like they were Mechabal those days and upon themselves, so to put in the Yidin were Mechabal on themselves to, to celebrate. Just like they were Mechabal on themselves to fast on the days of sorrow, so too they were Mechabal on themselves to rejoice on, on Purim. So it's probably talking about Purim. So it's a discussion. First, first Mordechai wanted to, and then, and then Esther. They were into. It was a discussion back and forth. <coughs> yeah, they they got together and they accepted upon, they accepted it upon themselves. <coughs> together, everyone. <coughs> let's so let's read, we'll see the, the Ibn Ezra, how he writes, <coughs> the fifth Maramakim. Says Lafi Daiti, Shahmeinu Zal Kabuwa Tainus Yim Hapachad Yim Apachad. That Khachamar Masakin that uh, on the Tainus um for on the day on the day of fear to fast. Vitan Divi had same is Al Hanis Kodim and when the Gemma when the when the part when in the Megillah says they were they were Mikabla Divi had same is it's referring to the same as Hanis Karim the Sefer Zechariah. It's not talking about Tiny Sester. It's talking about it says in Zechariah Shahin Betamos and Tamos Shavas of Betamos and of the Tishabov and Tishri. It's in Gedalia and Teves. Vatam, why? And the, the reason you were the explanation of the Pasik is Kikimu Hayyudim al Nafsham. They accept they accept the their Makabal upon themselves, Lismeh be mea putim, Kasha Kimu al Nafsham, the Al Zaram Lisanis be mea vlam. Just like they were they were they were they were just like they they were Makabal on themselves and their children to fast during the times of Avelos for the base of Mikdash and all the destructions. Kasha Hukbo Ha'ir when the when the city was uh, when they when they came, when they broke into the city of Habayis and they burnt the base on Mikdash. So, so just like the Yidden were Makabal upon themselves to fast then, so too the Yidden were Makabal on themselves to rejoice on Purim. Ki Hanavi Light Sivam Shi Sa'anu, the Navi didn't command them to fast, Kasha Fanjikin Kleme, like will be explained. So According to this, so you don't, so it takes, so you see, it's different than the Raiva. The Raiva says you learn how you see from the Pasi in the Megillah that the Yidim were Mechabal, the Tainus, and the Purim as one, well, was one Kabbalah. They were they Mechabal together. And therefore, you have a spot to say, when Shiach comes, it's going to be a package deal, just like you have Purim, you also have the Tainus. But according to the ben Ibn Ezra, he learns differently. He says that Pasi is not referring to Tainus Esther. The Pasi in the Megillah that says they were Mechabal on themselves, the Divri Atsimis, the, fa- the, the fast, it's, it's talking, it's not talking about Tainus Esther. So just like they were Mechabal to fast on all the other times of Avelo, so too they were Mechabal, they accepted uh, the days of Purim. So over here, maybe... 
So, so yeah, everyone agrees that uh, yeah, we do fast, but. Fast then, fast do, do they fast then? So just like they accepted the other tiny sin, what about this one? Could be they did, but that's not what the Pusik is referring to. So we're trying to figure out is... is, is that in general they accepted fast. Mm-hmm. They accepted fast for that sort of, so we'll accept simple for, for a good thing. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so well, not fast, so they will they'll accept Purim. We don't get now so these are. So this is. So this is one discussion he brings up. Uh, this is one discussion that he brings up regarding the, uh, could be based on this is uh, is whether the svaras whether we're gonna have tiny sets when she comes. Another. And uh, Gerlitsky and the safety based on the sheikh Balacha, he brings up another. Another machlekes in the Roshanim, which may, which also on Tully and this, is are we going to keep Taina Sester? And what what is what is this machlekes? So the halacha is that what happens if a Tainus, if a fast day falls out on Shabbos? You can't fast on Shabbos. So when do you fast? Do you push it off? Do you do it earlier or later? So the halacha is by all the by fast days you push it off later, because you push off later you do it on Sunday because you don't want to. Uh, fast days aren't uh, very happy times, right? You don't want to do it earlier. You want to push it off. Hmm? Other fast days, other fast days fall out on Shabbos, so you push it off later because we're not, we're not trying, we, we're, not, we're not so excited about them. We rather push them off. Yeah, the Gemara says we don't, we don't want to, times of punishment we don't want to bring closer. But what happens on Purim? Purim, if Purim falls out on Sunday and Pinus says it's on Shabbos, so we don't push it off later, we do it earlier. So what, what changed? I thought well, we don't want what happened to not bringing bad times earlier. Earlier. Oh, so let's see. So there. Oh, so there are two reasons. No, can't push it to Sunday. Sunday's poor. Push it to Monday. Push it to Sunday. Where's the Yeah, we'd like to do. To make poor first and then kind of Sunday. So there so there's two reasons that are given. So the Rambam brings on this halacha. Let's see the Rambam first in the sixth Rambam. Okay, the Rambam says, "V'nagul kol Yisrael bizmani meilul hisanis b'shleisha aser on the thirteenth of Adar zeich le'tainis shehisanu b'mei haman." To remember the tainis half in the days of Haman, of Haman, Shnemer, like it says in Esther, Perik test, divri hatzemis v'zak kalsam. So we're not to fast. V'im chol shleisha aser be'adar lias b'shamis. If it fell on shamis, then makdimin u'misani b'chamishi. Then you do it earlier on on, on, on Thursday, Shahu Yim Achadas, which is eleventh of other. Avil im Avil Echal mi Arbe mi at same Shachalis for Shabbos Dechin Eisil Achar Shabbos. But any of the other four fasts which falls out on Shabbos, you push it off later. So the Shabbos. So right. So our question is why. So the Magi Mishnah. So it's so just the first two lines are relevant. He says. He says. He says like you said. Because when else are you gonna? When else are you gonna fast? Shabbos falls out, Purim falls out on Sunday. You can't push it off till Sunday. The only thing you can do is bring it earlier. Says seventh Rambam Malkin. He says, "V'im chol yud gimel va'adar, gamzeh pashut that you do it earlier. That's gamzeh pashut va'tam. Why do you do tiny sester earlier instead of pushing it off? She'yeshal achrei adi im echad. You can't push off tiny sester until Sunday. Let Pishu who put it. So you can't, you can't push off any later. So Elamai, you have to do it on Thursday. Yeah. Other than Purim, is there another a time that there's a, a, a similar day of Simcha after a Tonus? No. So this, should, this is a non-question of why we do it. This is the only time where there's a, after a fast day, there's a Simcha. A day of Simcha. So I don't think it should be a question altogether. Right. But you see, if, right, but one thing we want to bring out from this, from the Mag Mishnah here, is that you see that really, if not for Purim, if Purim wouldn't be on Sunday, really we should be pushing off Tiny Sester. Right? Because it's a Zaman of Purim a time of punishment of not good things we want to push, push off, off right. so if so according to this it seems like really tiny sister it's not such a good day and really we would want to push it off until sunday we would want to push off until sunday because it's not, it's not the greatest time so if it's a time of tsar so maybe so again you have a reason why maybe we shouldn't we, we should we we shouldn't keep over shechems because we want to forget about the tsaris on the other hand, there's another reason why we push it off till so why we do it earlier and we don't push it off later. Besides for the fact that you can that there's no other option. But the Mordechai, one of the Rashainim, gives another reason that he says because it's not a time of punishment. It's not per onus. 
Oh, that, it's, it's not for Nusa. It's different than all the other fasts. And therefore, we don't mind, we don't mind doing it earlier. Um, this in the eighth Maramalka, the Mardachai says, in Mesech this Megillah, it's in Tashan Ein Vav. Um, he says, So, Masha on the Magdim in Hatainis Liam He, Kishachal Purim Echad Bishamis, when Purim falls out on Sunday, so Mephanis Sham, he explains over there, Shain Yachal Akavi Be'er of Shabbos. He says, Because why don't you do it on Friday? You can't do it on Friday. We finish in Turudin, we treach the Kavi Shabbos, they're busy preparing for Shabbos. Vahachi Isa Bishuvas are going. Yeah. Then he brings them. This is our part. That's um, Even the later on, we say when it comes to Tisha B'Av, we push off later. We don't do it earlier because we don't want to bring down. We don't want punish uh, the time of punishment to come earlier. He says that's different. Mishon de Puran Nusrahu. Tisha B'Av is the time of Puran of punishments. That's why we want to push off. We don't bring it earlier. Whereas and the Mefarshim over there, they add and they explain more. On the bottom it says, "Avol, avol tzeim esher lav leiparinus." Tainus esher is not a time of paranus. It's not a punishment. It's a it's a part of the nest. To remember the nest that happens, we fast. So according so according to this Mordechai, that that tainus esher it's a part it's it's a part of the nest and it's a part of the presuming nisra of remembering the great miracle that happened. So it's, it's maybe lost a lot. It shouldn't. It should it should still be around. Maybe we shouldn't get rid of it. So, so the two svaras which come up, which come up. So the two, so uh, yeah. If we fast to remember, right? And after Mashiach comes, we're not going to fast, and we're going to keep Purim. And what's the point of that? Then we've actually turned Purim into a two-day holiday. Then it's the whole, right? Okay. <laughs> and. So, the, so, the, so again, so the two questions that come up, they, are we still going to fast? Is first of all, well, the last thing we just said, is this time of Esther, is it a time of Tsar, like the other fast days, or is it part of the Nes of Purim and part of the Simcha of Purim? So ask then, me, ask me during the fast. <laughs> and the second question is, even if it's a time of Tsar, but maybe it's a package deal, it's a part of Purim, and just like Purim won't be, won't, won't be forgotten, so too, time of Esther won't be forgotten. So there's a there's a sicha in Tavshim and Vav the Rebbe talks about the the Rebbe talks about Antina Esther and the Rebbe says that the Ma'il of Taina the the kedusha the my, the greatness of Taina Esther we're going to have also when Mashiach comes. It's in the ninth Ma'ar Makim the in the sicha the Rebbe says v'yishlo v'yishloimar she Ma'il sayim rotz in the Taina Esther the 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 Ma'il of Taina Esther is going to be gam Master Shel Gula ninth Ma'ar Makim. He that which will be in the time of Gula, he later his man by Shani. So this uh, that we have the Maya Tiny Sester was in the time only it's not only in times of like the by by Shani. Shinishlam La Ach Purim. Which was after the times of Purim of Medu Khakugu Bay Simiha Purim. So obviously even in times of Bay Shani they celebrated Purim with Neza Tiny Sester, they also did. Also, when Mashiach comes, we're also going to have the Ma'il of Tainus Esther. Like Al Pi Psak Din Haram Bamin Hilchas Megillah, that he says Al Chiyat Ches Ashe Yemei Hapurim Lei Yibatul Lei Yibatul. Shneh that won't become we won't forget about Purim. Shneh Marav Yemei Hapurim Meila Lei Yavrim Mitech Hayyudim. V'Zichon Lei Yosef Nizalim won't be removed from the Yidden and we won't forget it. So move on. Shekin Hu Gam B'Negel Tainus Esther. This that the Ramam says regarding Purim, so it applies also that that won't be forgotten. Applies also to Tainus Esther. In him such a Tainus Esther poil inin hachi pnimi v'naidla, it it accomplishes something so high and great and powerful, and of his scala stress and alien baruchu, v'darke 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 kazu and such high level she ain't ba chilik ben galus hulula. The gilui, the east rotting of Tainus Esther is so high that even that that. But to that even in the time of Gula, we're still going to we're still going to deher the the gilui, and the in the east rotten we're going to have. So discussion. So the Rebbe doesn't say if we're going to fast when she when if we're going to fast. No, but the Rebbe says the Maila, the Maila, kedusha, the east rotten of Purim is going to be the east the the kedusha, the east rotten of Tainus Esther is still going to, is still going to be lost. What about the, the, the? Are we actually are we gonna fast? I don't know. I don't know. It's not absurd. There's no reason to fast. 
I'm not going to remember that. It's Sutter's. It's not at Sutter's. It's going to be part of the rules. Finish 10? Uh, um, uh, we're short on time.